Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chelsea. Hello, welcome, hi. So in today's video, we've got another haul. I did say in my plan with me video that I wasn't going to spend for the month of January, but let me tell you something. I ended up buying a car and blowing my full savings on that. So then I thought, why am I like holding back when I've like failed at my goal already? So like I ended up buying from three different online websites, but it was all worth it because I'm really happy with everything I've got that I've seen so far. But anyway, I'm gonna jump right in. I got stuff from Look Fantastic, Beauty Bay and ASOS. The reason why I bought from two different like beauty online stores is because the thing I wanted originally was not on Look Fantastic, but it was on Beauty Bay. So I just placed two orders and yeah, I without further ado, I'm just gonna get right into it. Start with Beauty Bay first because that's like the least amount of stuff. The first thing I got was the thing I was actually looking for and it was a new tan. So I picked up the Tanologist Express Tan. This is like a self tan in water and it's like a spray. You just spray it on your body and then like rub it in. I quite enjoyed it. I've already used it because I got it. I used it Saturday night um, and it was a nice colour. It's not too dark so I'd maybe do two layers next time. But the only thing about this, like I'm like when I'm spraying it on me, I'm scared in case like the spray goes somewhere else and like I end up spraying my wall and I've not noticed it and then like four hours later it's developed and like I've got an outline of my body on my wall. It's clean, vegan and organic and it's also, I'm sure this is cruelty free as well which is one of my biggest goals from this year. I want to be trying to be as cruelty free as possible. So this is a transparent self tanning water with advanced tanning technology for hyper real super hydrated glow. It develops within one to four hours and the longer you keep it on the more it gets developed. I just wore it overnight. Um, I don't know if you can really see. It's kind of hard to see like the bits I missed, but I think I'll just get used to it the more I use it. But I actually really like it. You can also get like drops to put in your moisturizer. Um, that I was actually gonna get, but I thought 14 pounds for this and like 14 pounds for the other thing. I'm not spending 30 pounds on a tan and I don't even know if it's that good. But if I continue to enjoy this, I might pick up the one to put on like my moisturizer and then I can put it on my face. Cause I don't really want to put this on my face, just in case. <laughs> so yeah, really like that. That was like 14 pounds, maybe 13 pounds, not too sure, but and it's a decent sized bottle as well. I've not really dived into the world of fake tanning. I've only ever used St. Moritz. I've never used that in the last like couple of years. But um, yeah, I wanted to try a new one, obviously. The next thing I got from Beauty Bay is the Milani Conce Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I've heard really good things about this, so I want I picked up. Um, I got the shade 04 Beachum, Beachum Mage. <laughs> Medium Mage. I was so unsure about colours because I'm really bad at colour matching, um, especially online, like it's so hard. But I think I've got neutral undertones, I'm actually not too sure, and they said on the website it was for light to medium skin with neutral undertones, so I thought it'd be good for like when I wear fake tan, um, and I feel like it's a little bit darker than I wanted, but it's still doable, I've actually got it on the now, and I actually do like the colour, um, and it matches my fake tan, maybe not my hands because they're a little bit pale, but the rest of my body it matches, which is good. This is also cruelty free and this was only like £13 for a foundation and yeah I do like the coverage, it's me jump to full coverage, lightweight, oil free, long wear, water resistant, Ooh, that's cool. So yeah I've been wanting to try this out for a while and I've had to pick it up since I'm placing an order on Beauty Bay already. That is everything from Beauty Bay and I'm going to show you now look fantastic since we're on like the beauty side of it. I've actually tried majority of the products out, I've just not looked at the ASOS bag um, since I've bought it but I did like majority of my makeup with the makeup I bought. So the first thing is the next wonder stick i've been eyeing this up for the last like three years and i finally bought it i actually only tried the contour stick today and i don't know how i feel about it because i used a brush that you'll see in a second to blend it out and i feel like it just kind of like disappeared and didn't do anything um and like it took my like foundation off so you can see my spot again and i was like i just had to redo it all but i will trial and test it and see how I like it. This was only like £11 and I've seen a lot of people use this for cream contouring and highlighting. I don't know if I'll use the highlight stick if I'm honest um, because it doesn't look very highlighted but I'll definitely um, try it out in some way. I'm pretty sure NYX is cruelty free as well which is really good. Another thing, so yeah like I said I got a brush, I got the Real Techniques Sculpting brush. I have not bought makeup brushes in so long and I thought I'd pick myself one up for the contour. So I got the sculpting brush because I've got a few Real Technique brushes and I really like them. So I guess it's like the safe option. And yeah, I already tried it. It's really dense and I really like that. Um, and it's really pretty because it's a pretty pink colour. So another thing I picked up was a new bronzer because I've got a few bronzers but they're not, they're like a lot darker than what I would want them to be. 
um for like when i'm tanning i feel like they're fine that but if i was to wear like bronzer just on my face like if i was to go out a walk or something something to do that um i feel like they're a little bit too dark for my natural skin tone so i wanted to pick a new one up and i got the Too Faced milk chocolate swilly matte bronzer and i've not really seen too much about this actually but it looked really good and i thought i'd pick it up Too Faced is also cruelty free um i believe anyway i think it is and yeah i was really unsure if this was going to be the color i was looking for but it is this is like the exact color i was wanting for a bronzer and i used it today and it's actually really good i really really like um how it came out obviously i'm wearing it now and it smells amazing like that's so nice i was really confused on how you open it as well but i managed to get there in the end there was another color um that was darker than this one that i was looking at which i'm glad i didn't get obviously but i think that had shimmer in it and i wanted a matte one just because that's my preference for bronzers i didn't want like a shimmery bronzer the next thing i picked up was actually a brown oh my god i picked up was a brown a uh, pencil from barry m and i just wanted like a really kind of cheap brown pencil to kind of experiment with um because i really do like doing the brown eyeliner look um with like a powder so i thought if i get a brown one i can maybe put my waterline or even do it as normal eyeliner and see if it goes this was like two pound three pound um and you can't go wrong with that but yeah got this um i also got a new mascara because as you can see my eyelashes are so bald and i'm eventually going to take them off like properly but I've not done it yet. So I wanted to pick up a mascara. So when I film videos and like when I go out normally, um, and if I'm gonna wear makeup, I can put I ah, mascara. I can put mascara on. So I got the last sensational um Maybelline mascara, but I got it in waterproof because I've heard waterproof is like a lot better than normal. So yeah, I picked up that. I've not bought a mascara in literally like two years or something. I don't wear mascara because I have my eyelashes done like 24-7. So yeah, picked one up. This was only like £10, something like that, which is not bad. Um, I think it was three for two. Look fantastic, which I don't actually know if it came off or not, but this was a part of the three for two deal and I've heard really good things about Last Sensational. So I thought I'd try it. Another thing that I've actually been really needing, but I don't actually use it, but like sometimes I get in situations where I'm like, oh, I need tweezers and then like, I don't have any. So I got a pair from Brushworks. Never heard of this company before, but they were quite cheap. They were like the cheapest I could find. Um, and they look pretty decent as well. You know, like sometimes you get like the odd hair on your eyebrow and you're like i just want to pluck that now i can since i spent so much on the website i think it was like over over 45 pound you get, oh my god i'm really itching. because i spent over 45 pound i think on the website they gave me a free sample so i got this it's the philip kingsley elast elasticizer therapy it's like deep conditioning treatment for your hair that looks pretty cool but i'll try that out eventually one day um so that was cool i got that free we're moving on to ASOS. I'm really excited for this. I have not looked at this. I looked for the one of the items because I was going to wear it and I've decided not to. But yeah, I have not looked at this parcel yet. So I'm kind of excited. Okay, this is the item that I picked up that I was going to wear. But I ended up not because I didn't think the colour was like this. So I just got a normal beanie. um, Like the ASOS brand beanie. But I've got this long pink jacket. If you've seen me on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. And um, it's really like pink. And I thought the picture on ASOS would match it. This is purple. Don't know how I feel about it. Like, will I wear this? Will I should I just send it back? It was only six pound. It is a pretty colour. I just don't know what jacket and what outfit I'd wear for it. Like, I actually do like it and it's good like quality, but I just don't know if I'd wear the colour, which is annoying because I really wanted to get into like the beanie fashion style right now. But I don't know. It's really good material. And on the website it was a lot lighter. This is a lot darker than I thought. But yeah, I don't want to send it back because I've heard that if like companies, if you send back items from companies under like a certain amount, they just like throw it in the bin. And I obviously don't want that to happen. Like I'd rather just keep it for six pound. But at the same time, it's not the colour I'm wanting. So it's like, I don't know. But yeah, I got a beanie that was six pound. It's made from recycled materials as well, which is really cool. The next thing I got was actually a notebook, which is really random to get on ASOS. But I got my last one off of ASOS. And I'm like probably like three quarters way through that. I just write down like a load of rubbish, like everything I think of. But I thought this notebook and it's got like planets on it and stuff, and it says you are magic on it. And I thought this would be really cool to write down all my manifestations and like my scripting for the love attraction because it's very love attraction I think you feel. And I'm using up my other book for that when I want it for other things. So I thought having a dedicated book notebook for this would really help me stay organised. This was like maybe £6. I'm actually not too sure on how much it was, but it's really pretty and 
yeah, I really like it. Got this really pretty, like, crew neck jumper from Pool and Bear, I think it was. Small, because that was the only size they get they up they wear. But I'm normally kind of extra small on tops. But for a jumper, I don't mind sizing up. Um, because you would want rather it baggy than, like, too tight or, like, too far up. Wear this with, like, leggings or whatever. Um, so I don't mind going a size up for that. But this is the colour. How pretty is this? And it browns really in it right now. And I, like, love jumpers like this. I wear, like, sweaters literally all the time like no matter where i am i will wear one so i thought that would be nice for a little change of scenery this was only like 10.99 i think i won't see on it will it um but it was from pull and bear and i actually really like pull and bear stuff i've got a cardigan from there really like it um so yeah that's what that is the last thing i got i placed an asos order like before new year's and i was unsure to get this or um leather trousers and I ended up getting the leather trousers just as well because these for £25 down to £10 and I was like this is like this is fate telling me that I have to buy these so let's hope they're good from I saw it first I think yeah so they're I saw it first lace PU shorts with belt and wine colour they smell which is obviously like a thing for leather stuff but they're really pretty shorts and they've got a big huge belt and I really like them. I feel like they'd be really nice for like a an afternoon drink, like a cocktail brunch type of thing in the summertime or even like if you're on holiday, um, for nighttime on holiday, I feel like they'd be really cute. Even though we're not gonna go on holiday anytime soon, but I really like these and for ten pounds you cannot go wrong. Like I hope these fit and look nice on me. But how pretty is that? And I love the colour of that. Um, so yeah, I got them and I'm really happy that I picked them up. Imagine I got them for the £25 and then I go on and they were 10 I would have been so angry. The last thing I got actually was this little white crop top and I've actually had this on my wish list for quite a while as well. Um, and it was on sale and I think it was like the last one. So I snatched that up. <laughs> so I got another I saw it first. Oh sorry, this is in the style and it's a little um, crop top with like a corset outline of like a corset. Um, it's really creased as you can see so I'll have to give it a good iron. I thought this was a really simple but like cute top to wear with like joggies or even like jeans. I just feel like that's really cute because it looks like you've went into effort but you're literally just wearing like a crop top. And I love wearing like a white crop top with like joggies, like baggy joggies. Um, I feel like it always looks nice. I got a size 6 to 8 so that might be a little bit too big for me. But I kind of prefer that than having it too tight. So yeah, I really like that. Can't wait to try them on. Um, I'm going to try on clips as you will see in a second. Actually, you've probably already seen them. I've probably inserted them already. But yeah, I am really happy with everything I bought. Except the hat. Not too sure how I feel about that. But I think I might just keep it because I can find an outfit for it. Like, I just don't have to wear my pink jacket with it. I wear like a black jacket. But anyways, I am going to leave this here. I hope you did enjoy this video. I feel like I rushed really fast through this. But I'm really hungry and I want to go get lunch. <laughs> but I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave us a wee comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you've not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.